Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. I have been a little bit preoccupied this week with all of the Hero Quest news, but today I have just received issue 470 of White Dwarf magazine, so as always, I just wanted to do a quick video about it. For people who are new to the channel, it's important to know that when I look at White Dwarf magazine, I don't go through the whole thing and I don't look at every single article. There are loads of really good channels on YouTube that will do that. My focus is always the specialist games, the box games, stuff that particularly interests me. And as always, I am looking for new Warhammer Quest content. So let's get that out of the way first. No, there is no new Warhammer Quest content in this issue. I assume at this point, nobody expects there to be. I certainly don't. But issue 470 is the big festive bonanza. It comes with a load of free gifts. So we're going to very quickly look at the free gifts. We will look at the card insert for this issue. And then we will talk about anything that adds new rules for boxed games like Underworlds. The first free gift is actually a promo leaflet for the new role-playing book, Wrath and Glory. It is a new um, relic. There is information for a new relic that you can introduce to your games. And then on the reverse of this, there is a QR code for 15% off of the book. I know absolutely nothing about this role-playing system or this book, so that's all I've got to say about that. Next up, we have a sheet of Tome Keepers transfers. This is the second time that they've included this transfer sheet. And if you're painting up your Marines as Tome Keepers, this is going to be really useful for you. This issue also includes game cards for four different games. We have the Glorious Gifts card, a Christmas special play for Blood Bowl. I will hold this up on camera for a few moments so you can pause the video and read the card, see if that's of interest to you. There is a new tactics card for Necromunda, a swig of wild snake. There is a new battlefield effect for Adeptus Titanicus called Ordnance Delivery. And finally, once again, there is another card for a game that is clearly doing much better than I think it is, and that is Aeronautica Imperialis. We have the Emperor's Blessing card, which is a new type of bombs for your Marauder Bombers or Marauder Destroyers. So those are your free gifts, and that's not a bad haul really. The transfer sheets are always really good, and we all know that Games Workshop transfer sheets are quite expensive if you buy them directly from Games Workshop, so to get a sheet of them in your magazine is a really good bonus. I'm not sure how useful the other game cards are. I have actually stopped playing Blood Bowl. I stopped playing it a long time ago. I never really got into Necromunda this time around the way I got into it when I was younger, and I've never played Adeptus Titanicus. So I honestly couldn't tell you how much fun these cards will be and what they will bring to your games. But it's always nice to get these extra cards that you can introduce to your game systems. But, as always, once again, I know Blackstone Fortress is a discontinued game. I know that Cursed City was a blink and you will miss its release and they don't want to release things for it. But come on, Games Workshop, chuck us a bone. You could have included a card for one of those Warhammer Quest games. Just because you're not making a game anymore doesn't mean people don't want new things for it. There are still a lot of people playing those games and a lot of people who would buy your magazine if you occasionally chucked a card or something in there for those games that they love so much. And I speak absolutely from a place of bias on that point and I don't care. I want to see some more Warhammer Quest content in White Dwarf. Moving on, earlier in the year, Games Workshop reintroduced the cardboard pullout section to the magazine, which is something they used to do years ago, and they added some really fun things in that way. Last month, I felt they wasted the card insert because they just included a background that you could use when you were photographing your miniatures, and it seemed like a massive waste to me. And I have to be honest, I think they've done it again. I think the card insert this time around is just a waste. They have included two Happy Holidays postcards and some gift tags. And yes, that's very cute. It's very funny. I'm sure there will be a few people who will actually really like that. But for me, that's a waste of a piece of card. They could have done anything else with that. They could have printed a board for a free mini game. There's so many things you can do with this card insert. And this just doesn't cut it for me. And yes, I'm being a Grinch. But what about new rules for box games? Well, in the last couple of issues of White Dwarf, there were massive sections of the magazine dedicated to Kill Team. People expecting that to happen again this month will be disappointed. There is actually no Kill Team content at all. I guess after being spoiled for two months, it's not unexpected that they might take a month off, but if you were expecting that to be an every month kind of thing, it's not. In fact, there isn't a lot of content for any of the boxed games, really. A lot of it is dedicated to 40k and Age of Sigmar through the Flashpoint articles. 
The 40k Flashpoint article focuses on speed freaks, there's a special theatre of war, data sheets for two new characters, more bad Zag Blaster on his Death Killer war trike, and Manic Gorg in a Death Copter, and then a special Road Wars Flashpoint mission, which has a rolling battlefield where each turn the battlefield rolls along and you can get knocked off the edge of it and destroyed. Meanwhile, for Age of Sigmar, I think the Cities of Sigmar players will be very pleased there is an update for the City of Sigmar rules, Allegiance abilities, Open Play rules, Matched Play rules, Path to Glory rules, Territories and Heroic upgrades, and Core enhancements. There are then 8 pages of rules for the Devouring Fogs, which is a new Age of Sigmar campaign. The only other new rules for games in this issue come quite unusually in the Glory Points feature for Underworld's Dire Chasm, where they talk about a new way to play the game called Fatal Edge. If you play with this method, you pretty much play the game as usual, but lethal hexes become fatal hexes and all of the edge hexes also become fatal hexes. You effectively have a situation where if one of your characters finishes their activation on one of these fatal hexes, they have one opportunity to dive to safety, and if not, they are destroyed. And that's pretty much it, it's just extra lethal stuff happening on the board. So you have the introduction here and then you have the explanation of fatal hexes and what they do, the rules for desperate lunges so that you can escape death on the fatal hexes, and then the rules for the horrific demise, the way that glory works if you die that way, and then just a few designer notes and special rules to make sure that the games are fun and interesting. Are they fun and interesting? I don't know, I don't really play Underworlds anymore. But that's it in terms of the new rules, in terms of board games. Of course, there is much more in the issue. There are painting guides, there are battle reports, lots of interesting stuff to work through that I am not going to cover in this particular video. But if you do have particular questions, if there's something you want to know about this issue to help you decide if you want to order it for yourself, then do feel free to ask in the comments section below. I do my best to answer everybody. But that's it from me for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider pressing the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I will see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.